What's up, YouTube? It's Jay from YT. I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how I started my transportation business at the age of 19 going on 20. Yeah, I was 19 going on 20. At the time, I was working at Frito-Lay, and I, had caught, I thought I had COVID from going to Florida, but I ended up not having it. And Frito-Lay wanted me to pay. They wanted to garnish my checks because they say that I lied about COVID, but I was in a 14-day quarantine. So... <clears throat> I didn't want to work for nobody else. So I had, at the time I had a 2007 Chevy Suburban, which I would have been seeing signs on the east side that you could sell your car. So when I called the number, it was a auto sale place, a car lot. So I called them and told them what I had. I brought it in, they bought my truck and I was scrolling down Instagram that morning before I sold the truck and seeing that one of my followers or somebody that I follow had a 2007 f350 diesel truck for sale which i put that right here picture of that right there i missed that so much so i was ended up being at work my wife she ended up going to get the truck for me while i was at work so we had that we used to pull rvs at dynamic transport which i put their logo right here and which is an l car goshen indiana we ended up pulling trailers for them all the way from august up until november 30th we were in a bad car accident we flipped the truck and the trailer which i'll do a story time on that stay tuned for a story time on november 30th the worst day of my life because we totaled the diesel truck and we stopped pull we stopped transporting rvs because they kind of it kind of like i ain't gonna say it put fear in me but pulling rvs that's a lot it takes a lot of money and i feel like that was the, the, that car accident was a sign for us that that's not the lane we should be in. Always follow signs. If you have red flags and signs in life, you need to follow them. So if you're doing something and some keep going wrong, it's not for you. Everything that's for you is gonna be easy for you to get. It may take you longer to get, but just trust the process. Because this key to transporting LLC, which y'all can look that up. You got my name on it, I'm authorized. I can even tell you my MC number. You look that up. That didn't happen overnight. I always talked about transport, but now I got something good. I got dedicated lanes, which I'll also be dropping a video on what it means and what you can do to get dedicated routes, lanes, something that you're doing every week that you know you're gonna get paid for. Now, I don't search on a load board no more. I may dispatch people off a load board, but I'm not getting my runs off a load board. I feel like off a load board, you gotta sit and, and do that all day. I have dedicators. I know Monday through Tuesday, Monday through Wednesday, both of my vans are on the road out of all three days my vans are gonna be on the road they're, they're working they're bringing home income so yeah we had did the rvs we crashed that so all the way from november 30th until february 26th which that's my birthday i was not working not at all like not working at all didn't have no money i had money coming in but i wasn't working i wasn't transferring i'm was sitting at home playing call of duty uh, every day I'm just tell the truth so for my birthday the gift to myself, I went and paid. Well, I had been researching the, the Expedite and the cargo van. So I had watched hella YouTube videos, hella even looking at a dispatcher, even looking at contracts, government contracts through cargo vans. I basically did my research before I did anything. So the first step that you need to do is make an LLC, start an LLC. So starting an LLC means you're registered with the state of Indiana or the state that you're in to have a business like the business no the state knows that you're a business rep out of that state so out of in indiana that's 90 dollars after taxes it's about 97 97 dollars so that's step one you get an llc you create your name mine is key to transporting llc if you want yours to be cargo van moves llc you can create that as long as nobody else has used that name in the state where you're at so you get an llc that was my step one step two I called people that I knew that was in the business, seeing what they were doing, wanted to figure out, like I'm talking to everybody, how are you doing, what you doing this, how'd you do this, what's the steps? The next step is get a DOT number. A DOT, an MC and a DOT number. An MC and a, a MC stands for motor carrier. I honestly don't know what DOT stands for, but I figure out and put it right here, the definition of DOT. So once I figured that out, I got my, so once I got my DOT, I got my MC and I got my DOT number. So you call Fully Services, F-O-L-E-Y. And I talked to Anthony E, which I'm gonna put her contact information right here 
You can call her, tell her Jay from YT sent you. Again, tell her Jay from YT sent you, or you can say Key to Transporting sent me. I watched this YouTube video. She gonna get you all the way together. She gonna have you up and running. She gonna ask you some questions. What type of power equipment are you running? What type of insurance are you gonna get? Um, she gonna get you all the way together for under, oh, slide y'all, snow. Uh, she gonna get you all the way together for under a thousand dollars. You're not gonna have to spend a thousand dollars starting your DOT number. That's not true, don't never, I would go to, she's out of Colorado. So I would go to fully because I spent under a thousand dollars. I heard so many people, you gonna spend $2,000 getting your DOT and MC, man. That's a lot of money to start up. Do your research. Y'all can find somebody who's cheaper than what I'm telling y'all. And that can work out for y'all. But I pay less than, a less than $700. And I, yeah, I paid less than $700 to get my DOT running. My sister-in-law, she just paid eight, less than $800. She just paid less than $800 to get, damn, y'all, we shaking, y'all, we shaking so well. She paid less than $800 to get a DOT for a dump truck, y'all. A dump truck. That's a lot of money. That's a $50,000 truck. She paid less than $1,000 to get her DOT and all of her DOT, her authority to operate less than $1,000. So step two, get your DOT, call Anthony E. Tell her Jay from YT sent you. Tell her you got a cargo van, you got a Sprinter van, you got a box truck, you trying to move freight, you trying to expedite freight on low boards. Let her know what you're doing. So and she gonna get you all the way together, I promise you. But don't forget to tell her I sent you, she gonna look out. I promise she's gonna look out. And it's only gonna take about 30 minutes. She gonna ask you a couple questions. Then she gonna send a packet in the mail like that, that you need to keep in your vehicle. So, we gotta figure out why we shaking. Sorry for the technical difficulties. All right, so after you figure out, after you get your DOT, step three, call insurance places. So out of, if you in Indiana, if you're trying to start this business in Indianapolis, Indiana, call shelter insurance and talk to Tom P. Y'all see his sign on a billboard on the highway and then Keystone, Keystone, call Tom Shelter. Call Progressive, call State Farm, call anybody who sells commercial insurance. But I, one thing, do not dive into the first quote that you hear at all. Progressive told me 2,000. They told my buddy 3,000. I could be like, damn, they told you three, they told me two, that's the best one, it's not. Cause I found something way under $500 that covers two vans. One a, a 100K cargo and a million dollar liability. That's what these low boards like my virtual fleet, DAT, truck load. That's what shippers, they want to see. So if you're driving, you happen to, I see a lot of people sliding off the road. Damn. So shippers want to see that you have $100,000 or two. You can get 300, but I started with $100,000 cargo and a million dollar liability. So shippers, low boards, and people who you're going to be carrying a freight want to trust and see that if something was to happen like sliding off the road i didn't see the sprinter van slide off the road today i'm sure he has something in there that you if something happens that it's, it'll be covered by insurance their freight their goods will be covered by insurance so once you get your insurance you got to wait 45 to 50 days for your dot to be active so me since I had no money coming in, I had to kind of stack the money that I had and do this and that to make sure I could pay for my insurance. So me and my wife, we split our insurance because we both are part of the business. We both making money from the business. She's on the LLC, I'm on the LLC. So she gonna be brought to the channel later because she can camera shot right now. So once we paid for, well, no, I waited until my authority was after 45 days to do my insurance. So I kind of delayed myself another seven days for my insurance to click on to my authority. Stay in the left two lanes. So once, once it clicked on, I kept calling Anthony every day. I was getting on her nerves, going on her Is it this, is it that? She finally gave me the site, which I dropped that right here to check when your authority is active. It'll say authorized, but when it's not authorized, it'll be green. I mean, it'll be red. When it is authorized, it'll be green. And people will be able to, they'll be able to, people, your shippers and the people who you send carrier packets to, I think that's what they use to check and make sure that that you're authorized to carry their freight. 
So once I waited my 45 or 7, 52 days before I was active, able to, oh, why you wait 45 days? You can move with it within your state. You just can't go out of state. So my advice while waiting the 45 days, sign on to a, a carrier company with your van. Sign on with your Continue van. on to North Beacon Boulevard. Sign on with your van. Uh, fill out a carrier packet. Let them know who you are. Tell them, like, in my, in my state, we have Pillow Logistics. Uh, that's straight Indiana. The hospital supplies, hospital, the hospital, medicine, the people. Sign on. For 25 miles, continue straight. Drive somewhere and like, drop something off on a timely limit or, and see what that, see if you like that better than going out of town because some people like it locally. I know people making, a, making, if not more, the same amount that I'm making staying local, but they're doing more work. I'm just, I'm going, where I'm, what I'm doing, I'm pulling up to the place to pick up, which I'm gonna have a video about that. What you do when you're an owner operator and how it works a day or not a day, a video, a vlog of me picking up and dropping off. It's technically, it's just strictly gonna be that. Or you can go see a bunch of that on my TikTok at Key to Transporting, which I dropped that right here. A screenshot of that right there. I have a lot of that on there. You can see how it is, how it is for them. You might have to wait 20 minutes before they can even load you. You're not getting paid for that, you're owner operator. So you're just waiting. So in some cases, in some companies you work for people, they may be paying you for your gas. They may be paying you for your hotel stay. I feel like that's what semis. They may be paying you for your maintenance. Say you have a blown out tire. That's that's all a part of your package. But as an owner operator, you don't have that. Everything is on you. So that's why you need to save money too. Because you never know it could be a rainy day. I was on my way to Muskegon, Michigan one day and the transmission and this damn went out. I had 2,000 worth of pounds, 2,000 pounds worth of metal in the back. So my wife had to come in her Jeep, we had to transfer all that stuff off a of pallet and spread it throughout the Jeep. You know, the Jeep was sitting like this. Instead of like this, even, it was sitting like this due to how heavy this stuff was. Why would you pull out in front of me? So, you just gonna need to, as an owner operator, save money, save emergency money, have maintenance money. I gotta get an oil change on this van. I had that money put up, I just gotta go do it. So, while you're waiting, see what it is to do it locally. It's an app called the Curry app. I haven't done any runs for those because I, I bid too late, always. But once you, so you did the three steps. You got an LLC, you call Anthony, which her number again is right here. You call Anthony for, or you email Anthony if you prefer to email her. You email Anthony for your DOT number. You email Anthony for your DOT number. So LLC, email Anthony, and you did your insurance. Now you're waiting your 45 to 50 days for your for your stuff to be actually active where you can go across state lines. So the next thing to do, the next thing to do would be, <clears throat> so you did a little, your fit, the LLC, DOT, insurance. Now you're in the weight process, you're doing a carrier. So, okay, there you're 52 days. Boom, hop on the load board, my virtual fleet. Do an interview with Shad. Tell him you want to do this. Tell him you want to expedite. You got a cargo van. Tell him what equipment. Learn what the rates are on his website. Boom. You book a load. I'll show y'all how to book a load. Even I'm not even going to really do it. I'm going to just show y'all how to book a load in my next video. So you book a load. Say you get a load from, you see, ooh, Indianapolis to, to Tennessee. Boom. You get on there. You type in, it's gonna ask you for your DOT number, your, I mean your MC number, or if you're uh, if you're a team driving, so if I have your partner driving, um, how far are you away from pickup, how uh, how long you think it's gonna take you to get to pickup, how long you think it's gonna take you to get from Indiana to Tennessee, so you, you email that back, you wait on the email to come back. Boom, if they approve it, okay, they're gonna call you, your DOT number, is this Jason with Key to Transport? Yes, did you uh, send a rate for Five hundred dollars to go from Indy to Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. Okay. Well, our shipper only wants to pay three fifty. You negotiate, but we'll. I'll show you later how to do that because there's no way I'm going to Tennessee or you should be going to Tennessee for less than five hundred. No way. That's how I feel. That's me. I'm not going. If it's four hours, I want an extra hundred because a hundred dollars an hour. Not a lot of people are making. I want an extra hundred dollars to say I went. So remember, get your LLC. Call Anthony, get your DOT, call insurance, but don't bite on the first quote that you get. Get three quotes and play with the numbers. You don't gotta, the minimum is a thousand dollar cargo and a million dollar liability. You don't gotta get the best of the best. You gotta crawl before you walk. Remember that, trust the process. Things are gonna get better. Now I started off a load board, contacted the shipper direct. He used to call me on little bitty runs. 
I'm like, so I, I watch other people's videos, little bitty runs lead to dedicated runs. Now I'm at dedicated. Now I just want to be his, now my goal is to dispatch people and help them do what I did. Remember, I started at the age of 20. I'll be 21 in February. This will be my second year. I I'm going to make a video showing y'all all my expenses that I spent in the first year and how much profit I made in the first year. So stay tuned for videos coming up about the key to transport and story because it's going to keep growing and we're about to start a brokerage. So if you're a driver and you have your own, you're an owner operator and you're looking for a broker to dispatch your runs throughout the whole United States, get in contact with me, email me, drop your email. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one phone call, drop your, your email me first. I want you to put your personal information on YouTube. Email me first at key to transporting at gmail.com. It's going to be right here. Key to transporting at gmail.com. Email me, like, comment, and share this video. This is how I started my transportation business at the age of 19. 19. I didn't go to, I haven't been to college. I graduated from high school and I'm now an owner operator. I'm an entrepreneur of my own black owned business. I forgot one, one, two things. Start a business email, strictly business. Start a business email the same as your LLC, but make it a G Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever you use as your email, make it strictly business. Step two, get a business account. Get a business account, go to PNC, start a business account, put $100 in there. Get a business account that has different categories. You got a savings, you got the deposits, and you got a, maybe a checking. Put a hundred dollars a week into one of those. Just save it. Don't use it for nothing. You could be searching and see cargo vans on marketplace that are cheap that need little bit, little work, minimum work. Just save the money. The more vans you have, the more drivers you have, the more money you'll make. Stay on the grind. Stay focused. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let numbers stop you. If you can't do it right now, you might be able to do it tomorrow. You never know. But stack the money, put the money up. The price list very state to state so i don't know how much your llc may be but stay focused y'all don't stop whatever you do keep it going it'll, it'll be successful i promise you put your mind to it and you and you follow it and you stay with it you research it learn it don't just jump into it learn it not only watch my video go watch somebody else's video i could have missed something but those are the steps i took to get to where i'm at today and i still need more steps to get further because i want a box truck i want to dispatch a semi I want all that, but I don't. I haven't researched it yet. I'm still going with this. I'm slow rolling this to where I need it to be, to where I know it's constant. I have the money to buy a box truck. So y'all, stay focused, stay positive. Don't give up. Keep researching. Ask questions. You don't know, ask questions. You get a load off the load board. Can I speak to the shipper, please? Can I speak to the, the who's the shipping manager of this company? Just start conversation. Let them know your face and your personality because I transport tattoos don't mean nothing don't let people discriminate you if you know this is what you want to do don't let nothing stop you you know when you go to when you in school they tell you you have tattoos that are visible some places won't hire i got very much tattoos but i bet they can't say i got that product there late i bet they can't say uh he he stole or he never came he said he was coming and he never came and got it they can't say that about me because i'm doing what i'm supposed to no matter about your look your color your race your top your size your gender none of that do what you got to do stay focused if this is something that you love to do, you want to be a transporter, ask ask me questions in the comments. If I missed anything, ask me questions in the comments. It's okay to ask questions. I can answer them to the best of my ability. I'm making a video on the expenses of this, all of it. Just stay tuned. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.